When you are assigned a research project, your instructor may require you to use certain types of resources and avoid other types. At other times, you may be free to choose whatever types of sources you want. Regardless of whether you get to choose, it is helpful to know what types of resources would be best to use for your research. The following is a simple overview to get you started. Sources of information can be classified into two broad categories, primary and secondary. Primary sources are first-hand information or original objects such as autobiographies, diaries, works of art, photos, letters, historical records and documents, and interviews. Secondary sources analyze, interpret, or summarize. Examples of secondary sources include biographies, critical analyses, literary criticism, textbooks, and articles or books written by non-participants. You can find information everywhere, but you should only use the best resources for your papers or projects. Knowing the strengths and weaknesses of different sources can help you choose the most appropriate and useful information. Here are some of the most common types of sources. Reference sources such as encyclopedias, dictionaries, handbooks, or guides are good places to start when you know very little about your topic or need some background information. Because articles and reference sources are usually short, they will quickly provide you with an overview on a topic and allow you to identify keywords, which can be used when you are searching for more information on your topic. Books are excellent sources of in-depth information. Use books when you are looking for lots of information on your topic, to put your topic in context with other important issues, to find historical information, and to find summaries of research to support an argument. Keep in mind that the publishing process for books takes time, so they are not always the best sources for information on current events and hot topics. Also, books may be too general and not offer the focus you are seeking. A magazine is a collection of articles and images about diverse topics of popular interest in current events. Although magazines may cover serious material, they do not contain scholarly information. Since articles in magazines and newspapers have to be approved by an editor, they are usually more reliable than information found on websites. Keep in mind that popular articles do not usually include a list of references, so it can be difficult to find out where the author found their information. Also, articles written in popular magazines are written for a general audience and can contain bias. Scholarly articles are primary resources for academic assignments and often provide very specific information on a topic. A journal is a collection of articles usually written by scholars in an academic or professional field. An editorial board reviews articles in scholarly journals to decide whether or not they should be accepted. Keep in mind that scholarly articles are not geared toward general interests. They are more focused on academic topics. Also, the peer review process takes time, so scholarly articles are not always the best sources of information on current events. The web allows you to access most types of information through an internet browser. Websites can be a good source for current information about events, news, and trends. A lot of government websites, think tanks, and special interest organizations post statistics, reports, and articles to the web. It is important to remember that anyone can publish to the web, and information found on websites can be biased or inaccurate, so it is very important to evaluate what you find on websites. Do not limit yourself to a certain type of search tool, such as Google, or resource, such as books or articles. You'll have more success finding what you need when you use a variety of search methods and resources.